Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here is another very interesting question shared by one of our student. We'll try to figure out derivative of a very important composite function. In case you want to learn from me, you can always join my classes by sending an email on the address given. Let us now enjoy the journey of success and also the solution of this particular question. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll discuss a very important question based on composite functions in calculus. You can treat this as a thinking question. Let's look into this problem. If f is differentiable such that f of x equals to p of q of x, which is equal to 3x minus 12, and derivative of p of x is given to you as 4 plus 1 over 3 px whole square, then find the derivative of inside function q of x. I like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Now let's try to analyze the question. We are given that the function f of x is p of q, so that's the composite function of x. And look here, we are also given that this function f of x is also equal to 3x minus 12. And also that the derivative of p of x is 4 plus 1 over 3 p of x whole square. And we need to find what is the derivative of q of x. That is what we need to figure out. How can we solve this question? Now it is impo important to understand the chain rule of the composite function. So that is a composite function, right? So if I find the derivative of this function, how will it look like? Let us rewrite this as f of x is equal to p of q of x, right? So now the derivative of this particular function will be the derivative of outside function times the derivative of inside function. So that is how we find the derivative of composite functions. Now, we can find the derivative of outside function which is also given to us as 3x minus 2. So from here we know what is f prime x. It is equal to 3. So we can substitute this value of 3 here and we are given that derivative of p is 4 plus one third of p of x whole square. You get the idea. So we got this which is given to us. And we are going to multiply this with the derivative of q. Do you understand this most important step here? Now that opens up the gates for solving for derivative of q, correct? So I can now let you take the lead and answer this particular question further. So now, what is this inside function? Inside function is also given to us as 3x minus 12. 
So, we can now write this as 3 equals to 4 plus 1 third of 3x minus 12 whole square times derivative of inside function. You get the idea. Let us open the brackets and simplify. So, taking from here, we get 3 equals to 4 plus open the bracket. So, we get x minus 4 whole square times q prime x, which is 3 equals to 4 minus 4 is 0. So, we are left with x square times q prime x. And from there, we get our answer 3 over x squared equals to the derivative of inside function. You get the idea. So, that is how this question will be solved. I hope you find these steps interesting and useful. So, we have the derivative of inside function as 3 over x squared. I hope you understand these steps. In case there is any questions, you can always send me an email on the address given. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.